Sorry about that. He seemed to want to get out and meet the other dog and me trying to jog and hold the phone. It didn't go well. So this is a part two. We are now putting him on a leash. Um, and we are going to take him home. So it will be in time that he will get along with all of them. It's just right now, he just needs to understand where his place is when it comes to the pack. <laughs> and that he is not the pack leader. He tries to be. But, usually you're supposed to just let them go. And they say, oh, they're learning a lesson. Yes, it's right. Very, very true. They will learn a lesson. But, doing that, alright. But doing that means one of them are going to get hurt. And I'm not down with one of them getting hurt. Or bitten to the point that they're going to need stitches because one of their canines hit that one sensitive area that sliced them open. Nothing. So it's better off just to kind of separate the room. Just carry it and do it that way. So no one's in the kennel. They are are in their own area with the playpen and it works out perfectly. So Jasper, see, he definitely, this is not a proper um, walking collar I use. Um, and this is his. However, um, I believe probably tomorrow I'm going to go out and buy him a harness, a chest harness. That's the kind that actually supports the chest and supports the chest area all the way around to the back it's not a simple wire you know those thin strings I cannot stand that go around the back and the chest this is actually a padding that is very soft that's like almost like goat it has like a goat or I'm so sorry a sheep um, fur that's a padding for him when I do pick it up, stop please. When I do pick it up, I will show it on the video and how we put it on and what the difference is in walking wise. It's a huge difference. So he does not, <laughs> when he walks, he actually will walk and you can see right now it's not bad. But see, he wants to pull and constantly breathe like he's got asthma <laughs> that's exactly what it sounds like when he needs to understand there he goes the leash is like straight hey no and he's got to get that that's not how stop it he's supposed to walk he's supposed to walk on the side of me not in front of me trying to pull me so that's the new thing that we're working on. Um, also, you guys do know about our beautiful moms that we'll be expecting. I uh, will be posting videos of them. I'm going to try to do it today if I don't have too much um, to do when I get home. But here, yep, he's pulling himself. Um, so videos or photos will be posted at least on my Facebook page, and that is Bassa Queen. And you'll be able to see a lot of our photos there. And one of them, I believe, should be on the 20, 26, and the other possibly the third. I believe they're about roughly two, maybe three weeks apart. Um, I love one of my girls that are pregnant. It is so neat to watch. Because you know if you've had baby bassets before, the mother sits up all high in her ribcage. Then when they, they drop just like we do, they will literally fall back to their butt. It is incredible to watch them 
be a high and then drop back. Um, you guys will see that happen. And you will also see how um, they will start to leak out of gel. And that usually is a big sign. I do not do the thermometer thing like a lot of other breeders do. Um, I, I just basically go on my instincts and know when it's going to happen and go from there. Um, you'll realize my girls, do, it's, it's funny, but my, my guys do not um, set up their kennel. They do not put the newspaper together or um, make a bedding for themselves or their babies. Oh no, they are literally lazy and that means they want me to. So um, you will see the bunch of newspaper and pads, some pads that will cover the bottom. But overall you will see um, me taking care of that. No, and that will be talked out more as that goes on closer to that that time. So right now, we are going to take Jasper. We're going to take Jasper back home to his second home, not his home home. His daddy will come and get him when he comes back from Hawaii. Oh, so wish I was there. And I believe Japan. Either way, that's it's not a vacation, but hell, I take that any day. And there he is again, trying to push out something that he does not have, just so he can leave a scent. And look at him. See how he does not you know, tail's not wagging or anything really. It's because usually they can sense something about a certain person. And he's not even. You know, he's got his eyes stared on this gentleman. So usually they can sense something's not right with someone. Um, and that's how they would react. Hair would go up and they would either bark or they would just stare. So guys, we are going back to Bass the Queen. I will try to make a part three to this. When I clean his ears out, I will show you how we do that, and that has to be, well, this evening. So we will come back and show you how and what we use to clean their ears. We hope you enjoyed our beautiful video. Jasper, say bye. Thank you for watching me. Say bye, Jasper. Thank you so much for hitting our page and do not forget, take the time to tell your loved ones you love them and most important, give your pet a hug and a treat for the day. Bye bye from all of us here at Fast Queen. Take care.